Hi, in this short video lecture we're going to be solving a sample exam problem from heat transfer. This one is on a heat exchanger. The problem says two fluids, fluid A and fluid B, enter a very long co-current flow concentric tube heat exchanger under the conditions listed in the table below. The process is at steady state. What is the outlet temperature of fluid A? And then how much heat is transferred between the two fluids. So let's stop and think about this problem. This is a co-current flow heat exchanger. It's also very long. So co-current flow, if this were a double pipe heat exchanger, we'd have one pipe in the middle of a larger pipe, and we'd have one of the fluids going in here, and we'd have the other fluid going in here. So the way that would look temperature-wise is as we go down, if this is our X and this is temperature, we're going to have the hotter fluid B come in and we're going to have the colder fluid A come in at this temperature and over time those they're gradually going to approach each other. So what we're told specifically in this problem is that this is a very long heat exchanger so we can assume that a approaches infinity, A being the total surface area approaches infinity. This would be the same as the total length of the heat exchanger approaching infinity. So what that means is that eventually neglecting any heat losses to ambient from this outer tube, these two fluids are gradually going to approach each other in temperature. So if it's very long, we can make the assumption that their outlet temperatures are equal. So then this becomes a fairly simple energy balance. So we're given the different fluid properties of each fluid, but we can actually set this up as an energy balance. So remember that B is our hotter fluid and A is our colder fluid. Okay, so then the energy change going into fluid A which could be expressed as m dot A times CPA multiplied by the temperature change from fluid A. So the TA out minus TA in. So that represents the total amount of energy going into fluid A. That is going to be the same. This energy is coming from somewhere. It's coming from fluid B. So that equals the total amount of energy leaving fluid B, which would be expressed similarly, except B is the hot fluid. So we do its inlet temperature minus its outlet temperature. So what's unknown is TA out and TB out. Those are unknown. Unless we use this assumption of a very long heat exchanger where we can say that TA out is equal to TB out. And we can just call that T out. So this effectively gives us a second equation where we can just substitute in T out both places. Now we have one equation, one unknown, and we can just solve algebraically this whole relationship. So we can solve for T out. So T out is equal to and I'm just going to do this, I'm going to skip some algebraic steps here. T out is equal to M dot A times C P A multiplied by T A in plus M dot B times C P B multiplied by T B in that whole quantity divided by M dot A C P A plus M dot B C P B. So pretty easy and that gives us our outlet temperature T out, which is also equal to T A out 
which is what the problem was initially asking for, that comes out to be 175.6 degrees Celsius. And again, as always, I usually skip the plugging and chugging, but that's part is important to make sure we have all the units right and that we get a number that makes sense. So does this 175.6 make sense? So fluid B comes in at 215, fluid A comes in at 80, and they meet somewhere in the middle. That somewhere in the middle is a little bit closer to the fluid B temperature because it has the higher heat capacity rate, which is m dot b times cpb. That number ends up being substantially higher than fluid A. So the way this graph would really look would be something more like this, where that final temperature is closer to the fluid B temperature because it has the greater capacity to, to give off heat. We're going to solve this, oh, actually I've neglected part B, sorry about that. So part B, how much heat is transferred between the two fluids, so what is our Q? So our Q, you can just do this either way, you can do m dot A times CPA, multiplied by TA out minus TA in. So you could do it that way, or you could do, it's the same, the amount of heat going into fluid A is the same as the amount of heat, same as the amount of heat leaving B. So you could also do M dot B, CPB times TB in minus TB out. Again, TA out and TB out are both 175.6 degrees. So plugging in all those numbers, we end up getting 470,200 watts. So that's our Q, and this is our outlet temperature. Now again, we're going to solve this problem again. I'll provide a link in the description below. We're going to solve this problem again using the effectiveness NTU method for heat exchangers. So that should be instructive as well because it's a different method that can help understand how the effectiveness NTU relationships work.